In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Power Platform command line interface tools using the VS Code extension for the Power Platform. So you may be asking yourself, what is the Power Platform CLI? Well, it's the Power Platform command line interface. And why you might want to use this going forward is because of the fact that there's going to be capabilities and things that you want to control as like an admin or DLP uh, policy enablement, other things like this that you might want to actually use this command line interface instead of actually using uh, the UI. Or sometimes you just can't even use the UI to be able to do these type of things. So first you can go take a look at this article, which will help you be able to figure out, you know, what is the Power Platform CLI and things of that nature. But you'll notice here that if you scroll down within this, that there is different install methods. And you'll see here that there is an install using the Visual uh, Studio Code extension. So if you'll click that and you scroll down, you'll see that it gives you instructions on how to actually install using um, using Visual Studio Code. So this is how I'm going to go about the installation and getting access to the Power Platform CLI. But know that there is the opportunity to do this through uh, uh, the .NET tool or to be able to install with the Windows MSI. So another thing that we need to take a look at is Depending upon your machine and whether you've already got this installed or what type of operating system you're running, you're going to need to make sure that you've got the .NET uh, 6.0 or greater uh, framework installed. So that way we can make sure that uh, we can use the Visual Studio Code implementation uh, that we're going to need for being able to use the power tools. So. In order to do that, for this particular uh, machine that I'm working on here, I'm actually going to uh, download the macOS version of this. Um, most of my videos you will see I will do from the PC, but for this particular video, I'm going to show you how to do this on a Macintosh, mainly because of the fact that there is a video that I already have that shows you how to build templates, which also has the instructions as well uh, for the PC. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit different flavor. Now that this is downloaded, what I need to do is I need to actually open this. And you may get some prompts that say you want to allow things or things like that on the Macintosh. Just make sure that you go ahead and accept those. Then we need to go through and we need to complete the installation. Um, and you'll have to, of course, allow this to be done. I'll bring it over so I can put in my password. And you'll need to allow it to install the software. And pretty much all we're going to do is take the defaults on uh, the installation. So there's no nothing special that has to be done here. And we'll hit close. And then you can just go ahead and move that to the trash. And then you're going to get a bunch of things to allow. OK, so now. I went ahead and opened up Visual Studio Code. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to this icon over here on the left, which lets you go into the different extensions. And you're just going to type in Power Platform Tools. And it'll go and it will search for this. Now, once you get this, you'll see it pop up here toward the top. And you can just say that you would like to install. And you'll see that it goes through a process to install. Now, it may take a little bit longer depending on your internet connection or things of that nature, but that gives you a perspective of kind of the installation of it. Um, so once that installs, you'll notice that on this left-hand nav, you now have a new icon, which is the Power Platform Tools. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into adding additional auth profiles. Now, Having different auth profiles allows you to have different accounts that connect to different tenants or things of that nature. The whole idea here is that you might end up needing to manage multiple types of uh, implementations, but what we're going to want to do is add the auth profile for your actual tenant that you're uh, wanting to control. So we'll go ahead and try that. So once 
you go and you click this uh, on a Macintosh, you don't see this, but there's a few, couple of allows that have to happen on the back end. And at that point, what it's going to want you to do is it's going to want you to authenticate. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my authentication to one of my environments here. And if you have two-factor authentication uh, set up, which I would highly encourage you do on your environments, you will have to go in and do your authenticator. And we've done this. So now once you've you received this page uh, in your browser, you can just go back over into Visual Studio. And once you get signed in and you have your new auth profile, you'll see here that underneath this, you will actually get to see your different environments and you can see all the different ones that you have. So this is, and you can see in here, here are some of the different um, solutions that are underneath this, but just in general, be aware that uh, the default environment right here is what I need to specifically be able to connect to. And by having this, we now have configured uh, the power tools to allow us to be able to interact with this going forward. Okay, now that we've got our auth profile all set up, I'm going to show you how to quickly go in and check to see that, it, that you've got this installed. So we'll go just go to terminal and we'll just do a new terminal. And here you can just type PAC help. And you're going to see that once you've done this, you'll see that now we actually have the Power Platform CLI working. So this is how you can now start doing commands within this. So I'm going to go ahead and check here and just see if I can't run a simple command uh, that will give me just a list of all the different um, all the different copilot uh, capabilities and things of that nature that are inside of the uh, pack command or uh, so that you can look at the CLI a little bit. And, and just to show you this, I'm going to bring this over just so you can see, see that there is a, a whole Power Platform CLI reference that you can look at. And if you go to the Pack Copilot uh, one, you'll see here are all the different ones. So what we'll do is we'll look at this, this particular one, which will allow you to get a list of all of your copilot. Uh, copilots that are in this particular environment. So I'm going to move this over and I'm going to try just doing it where I say PAC copilot list. And as you can see, this is a list of all the different ones that are I've created in this particular tenant. And you can see I've got, actually got quite a lot of different copilots for all the different videos that I've been recording. So I hope this video was very helpful for you to be able to understand how to use the CLI or get it configured. Uh, know that you can try Copilot Studio at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio. And please like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this that will help you become an expert in Copilot Studio.